yeah, so I, one of the other things that I was thinking about to improve League's Cup was, and I'm not sure that all teams do this, so maybe you can correct me if I if I am wrong and, and you know that all I love teams doing do this, that. but uh, finding a way to incorporate League's Cup tickets into the season ticket package at the beginning of the season because I think having to pay for season tickets and then pay extra on top of that for League's Cup games, people just aren't going to pay the extra money for League's Cup games. And I think you saw that to some extent where you had a lot of poor attendances in stadiums that normally don't have that. Like obviously Atlanta is a major example of that where, I mean, flashback to a couple of years ago, they were constantly breaking attendance records and now you're seeing completely empty stadiums uh, for the league's cup. And I, and I know there's probably a little bit of other factors going into that as well, but still, I think if you, if you can kind of, bake it into the season ticket package where if you have season tickets, you get tickets for the league's cup and you don't have to pay extra for it. People will show up for it. Then it might, it, it, at least from what I think, I mean, obviously there's people that are boycotting, but I don't think there's enough people boycotting that you should be seeing stadiums as empty as they have been. The group stage of the league's cup is included in most season ticket packages, not all of them, but most of them. MLS season tickets that included League's Cup group stage versus non. The ones that did not were Inter Miami, Montreal, Nashville, LAFC, STL, and Minnesota. Some of them were just one group stage match. Some of them were all, you know, however many they were hosting, whatever it may be. Uh, but for the majority of teams, they were included. Uh, and then they most of them were turned down. All right. Well, then I can build, I can build off of that a little bit where. Not necessarily the inclusion of the tickets, but something that makes it known a little bit earlier. You know, how do I phrase it? Kind of like promoting it a lot more readily and sooner where the the issue, one of the issues that we we ran into was games being booked three days in advance and not knowing whether you're going to have tickets or, or, or how much you're going to cost and then also charging with like normal ticket prices for that, it, it, it kind of put people off trying to go. One of the things that they can do, one is promote it at a relatively high level uh, and then also mix in with that a little bit of a cheaper cheaper prices, especially for season ticket holders, uh, season ticket members, and then utilizing maybe giveaway. You know, Red Bull has been doing a lot of giveaway days, right? Maybe utilizing giveaway days on League's Cup days so that you can go out and say, you know, here is something you can do to increase your likelihood to go there just to get the numbers up, right? Stuff like that, being more proactive about it. Now, what you might be able to do is say, okay, what, you know, I had this conversation with, oh, I can't remember who I had this conversation with. It might have been uh, MLS Gone Wild, I think, where what you'll want to do is go ahead and say, hey, these tickets are in your, you know, we're going to give you a discounted 60% off these tickets, right? Whatever the number is, pick a, pick a random number. And you're going to, you know, you purchase in advance tickets to go to every single game, the, the, the possible two home games in the group stage. And then every single one after that, right? If we don't get that home game, if we don't move out of the group, if we don't get to a certain level, those are either going back to you in the form of, monetary reimbursement whether it be 80 percent or 100 percent, whatever it may be or we'll give you credit to our merch shop you go out you buy scarves and kits and whatever so you've already paid it instead of having to pay extra to get something that you would have wanted at the team store bang here you go here's if, if you drop 300 dollars for it right okay well here's 300 dollars to the store go buy yourself and, and family friends whatever something nice right so it's almost like using the money to have a placeholder to go to these games and know, okay, it's in my schedule. It's in my, my season tickets things. That way I know I can sell them on if I'm not, if I'm not going to make it or, or whatever, or, okay, I've pretty much just put money in to get merchandise. Great. Now I'm at the, I'm at the game for the last game of the season. I know I have this credit. I might as well go get something anyway. Now that both, both sides win. Right. Uh, again, how realistic is that? I think that's probably of all the ideas that we have here today, that might be the most realistic, because it will increase attendance numbers, which is something that Don Garber is really focused on, obviously, as we spoke about in one of our other episodes. And it it 
helps out the fans too because they know in advance instead and not three days in advance more like three months in advance okay these are the dates we have to look for so i i did remember the other idea that i thought of and it i guess it could kind of go hand in hand with the ticket discussion because once you mentioned it i do remember seeing a lot of stuff about oh there was only like three days notice that we were going to play this game which which i get is like a extremely quick turnaround like Obviously, people make plans already like three days out. So it's you know tough to move things around to be like, oh, we have to go to this game. And I think this is one of those if we're going to talk about like how realistic are these suggestions? I think this is one of those that's probably a bit unrealistic at this moment. It would be very hard to do. But if you could do it, I think it would kind of solve a couple of issues. And that would be trying to work the tournament scheduling into the season a bit more as opposed to just putting this whole hiatus on the season and this is i would assume something along those lines is probably in your notes because i know it's a big talking point for a lot of people on having this huge pause in the season just to do this tournament whereas you look at england for example they they're they're another i think in this case they're a good example of scheduling because they have a full season plus two cup games in the middle on top of Europe and all that other stuff. So it's possible to get these games in there without having to pause the season. It's not like they're playing the Carabao Cup and completely pausing the Premier League season. And so if you could find a way to kind of get these League's Cup games maybe midweek, obviously it's a lot easier in England because what the furthest you have to travel is like three or four hours versus like games between Mexico and the U S where you got to travel potentially like six, seven hours by plane. So it's obviously, this is why I say it's, it's, it's one of the more unrealistic ones here. It's very hard to figure out, but if you could do that, I think you could space the games out more because right now you have to have these like three day, like turnarounds because you can't just leave the season paused for like two or three months. That's just way too long. So you got to like have these quick turnarounds into like, okay, we won the quarterfinals. Semifinals is going to be in like three days. But then it's like, all right, well, I have stuff planned for three days because I didn't know if there was going to be another LAFC game, for example. So now I'm not going to be able to go to the match. Whereas maybe if I had a week's heads up, I can make it work and I can go to the match. And if you can kind of incorporate it into the season, you don't have to worry about pauses and having longer times between games so you could play a midweek tuesday wednesday game in leagues cup have your regular season games on the weekend and then play the next round the next week so you have more time to get fans to market it to get fans to show up to give them time to figure out things so they can show up but again i I think it would solve the problem of like having the whole season on hiatus and pausing it um, and could solve the ticket issue. But again, I, I do think it's unrealistic and would be very hard to do. And I, and I'm not sure that I have the answer right now on what would be the best path forward on like trying to merge the schedules together. Well, I agree with you that I think that is a the, the, the definition of a stretch. I do have something a little bit to work on that. So it, it kind of works with the way that the thing is set up. So now I'm going to go into, I guess my something I can see. This is the one that I think of my three is, is most likely to happen. And 